Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Sarita. Good to see you here today. I have a double review for you today from Kringle Candle. I will probably break it up into two videos though, just because they're not particularly new candles. They have no reason to necessarily go together except that they're both done at the, relatively the same time. Um, and they performed very similarly. Um, but I think people who are maybe looking for a specific candle would appreciate having a dedicated video for each one of them. So that's what we're going to do. By the way, I apologize. I'm super uncomfortable. So I got rid of all of my bar stools that were here at this bar, which is very, very high. Um, they're super rickety and I've got new bar stools coming, but they didn't come in time for this video. So I'm using my desk chair and like several floor pillows and I just, at any rate, it probably makes no difference to you, but I feel a little uncomfortable. Okay, hopefully next videos will be the new, the new and improved. Um, okay, so the two candles here from Kringle are this one, Rosemary Lemon and also snow-capped Fraser, but I'm gonna do snow-capped Fraser in the next video. So let's just talk about rosemary and lemon for this video. Um, I think this is probably a really nice candle, fairly seasonal. You could burn this at any time though, during the spring, during the summer, pretty much any <laughs> season with the exception of like fall and holidays. I just don't think there's anything remotely fall or holidays about either rosemary or lemon or this fragrance, and there's so much else to burn. So I, I would think that's maybe the only season where you would probably not want to burn it. Um, as you can see, burned like a dream. Um, there might be some carbon smudging, but it, it wasn't really sooting. And I burned this all the way down to the wick clips. Look at that. Really, Fair, I mean, the wax is a little bit discolored, but you expect that when you burn something all the way down to the wick clips. Um, it's, it was really very, very good, very clean burn. Um, so Rosemary and Lemon has been out for a minute, and I get the sense that it's fairly popular amongst like Kringle buyers. So I really wanted to try it, but... Um, I, and, and also because I'm, I'm a huge herbal person. I love, I love herbs. So the rosemary on it, I'm, I'm here for the rosemary. I'm here for the rosemary. Um, lemon is kind of a weird note and I don't know that I'm a huge lemon person or even frankly a citrus person with the exception of grapefruit. <laughs> I make exceptions for grapefruit. R uh, lemon can go bad real quick. It can get very medicinal. It can get very cleaning product. Um, yeah. So I was a little concerned about that. And I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little concerned because I saw that a lot of the people who recommended this candle are, in my experience, not people who love herbals. <laughs> so I was a little bit concerned because I thought, I just don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of rosemary in this candle. And when I hauled it, I thought that, like in my first impression, I just thought, where is the rosemary? <laughs> Cause I'm here for the rosemary and I'm not smelling any. Um, and I didn't love the way that it smelled on cold. So let's talk about the notes. So the notes that Kringle gives for rosemary, lemon, top notes, herbs, just generic, jasmine and lemon, and then mid notes, lime and orchid. Base notes, um, peach, <laughs> but on my, on my notepad, I put beach with a B. <laughs> Freudian slip. I wish I was at the beach. I wish this was a beach candle. It is peach, I believe. Peach, tea, wood, and ylang ylang. So that's a lot of notes and they're very lovely, um, but this candle is not as complex as that um, list of notes would indicate. I don't smell any peach, any tea, any wood, maybe some ylang ylang. It's not a particularly floral candle per se, although I don't disbelieve that the stuff isn't that in there. Um, the herbs are extremely minimal. 
extremely minimal. I think I picked up on what could possibly be a rosemary nuance literally one time in all of the times that I have smelled this either cold or burning. One time. I was like, wait, is that a little rosemary? But it was only once. I will tell you though that this does have, and I think I may have said this in the original haul, with the herbs there, I'm getting more of a like lemon verbena or lemongrass kind of feel with the herbs rather than like a dried, like, you know, kind of coniferous rosemary or sage or something like that. Um, and lemon verbena makes more sense. If you said this was a lemon verbena candle, I would completely believe you. And I would not go any further or look for any other kind of notes. It's fairly straightforward. Like I said, no peach, no tea, no wood, no ylang ylang. Let's talk about the, the, the um, lemon note here. I've smelled better lemon notes, but I've definitely smelled worse too. So it's kind of in that mid range. Yes, for me, it goes almost cleaning, almost. I don't think it goes full board and it doesn't necessarily smell overly synthetic or cheap or chemically, yeah? But at the same time, I can't sm say that I am getting the freshest lemon either. Um, and it may be because they've mixed the lemon with the lime. So now that I'm smelling it with lemon and lime combined, that feels about right. It does kind of feel like a lemon-lime mixture, and frankly, not a particularly fresh one. Kind of muted, and just kind of like, it's good, but it's not brilliant. It's not great. You know what I mean? I'm not getting any like really sparkly citrus or any, it, it's not juicy. It's just not juicy. Um, and it's, it runs real close to that cleaning product line to a little uncomfortably close for me. Um, and so in that sense, I actually think they would have been better served to just keep it with the lemon note since lemon is such an enormous part of this candle and of the branding and of the marketing. I think you need a pure lemon and I think you need a better lemon, frankly, than the one that this one is offering. Um, especially because all these other notes are not coming through. So you know how like on Top Chef or like one of those cooking competitions, they're all like cooking, you know? And inevitably there's a contestant that brings some sort of classic French dish or even like a comfort dish or something like that. And it's just super uber like simple. And while it looks great to all of us because we're amateurs, um, it's not up to the level of like the rest of the competitors. And always like the panel judges will be like, you can do a simple dish and you can do a simple thing, but it has to be flawless, absolutely flawless. And this right here is not flawless for this reason, this reason, you know, that kind of a thing, you know? That's kind of how I feel about this candle. This candle is simplistic and it needs to be flawless. And I just don't think it is. I don't think it's flawless and I don't think it's brilliant. It's really, I would say about 90% lemon slash citrus and like 10% like nuance of verbena or lemongrass. But it's just not special. <laughs> it's not even special as an on cold experience. Let's get to the performance. Performance was very bad. And, and by performance, I do not mean the actual burn quality. Um, yes, I, I get it. Like there's, there's the people who are like totally into this 100% soy formula. And this is why, because look at that no sooting, like burning all the way down, like super even, etc. That's the really positive thing about 100% soy. But then that's the only performance aspect that seems to be working. <laughs> and that's kind of my sense about 100% soy. So unless you like privilege that one performance element above all the rest 
and at the expense of all the rest, um, you're not going to be happy with the performance of this candle. I would say that this candle came in at a four. And I think a four is generous, to be honest. I think it was mostly a three. Um, but there were like two or maybe even three burns that got up into the six range, 5.5 or six. And I could smell that sharp citrus note. It was, I mean, it, it stayed for most of its life in my like tiny guest bathroom, <laughs> which is where I keep those candles. Yeah. So it was in that guest bathroom, but there were at least two or three burns where it came out into the hallway and even up into the living room a little bit. And I could smell that sharp citrus. It wasn't strong, but it was throwing. Yeah. So I did have at a certain point, a throw of up to about a six, even if the strength, maybe that's a little deceiving. The throw is at a six. The, the strength was probably closer still to a five, but because the throw was good, like it was good, but that was three burns max three burns out of like 20 or 25, which is just not a good ratio for the most part. It was in the three to four range and that's three to four strength and three to four um, throw. In fact, it might even be less in terms of throw. You really had to be in the bathroom area, <laughs> preferably with the door shut to really get a sense of the candle. And in that sense, like, I just, I can't recommend it. I can't. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend it even if it performed well. Um, and if you are interested in a candle like this, as I was burning it the whole time, I was thinking about this other candle from Root and it was fantastic. It's one of the first candles that I reviewed on this channel. Root has a candle called Tangerine Lemongrass. Here's a picture of Tangerine Lemongrass. Um, it comes in various different sizes and formats, but if I were you and you were buying this, I would recommend it in that beautiful like bee, beehive um, three wick, because um, three you need the three wicks um, for root for sure. Um, but that tangerine lemongrass, if I, I mean, it's been like over a year now, so I can't remember specifically, but I think it got up in the seven range. I think it was seven to eight. It was a strong candle and it performed strongly, like at least for two thirds of the candle. If I remember correctly, the first like two or three burns were kind of rough. And then after that point, it was fantastic. That candle was a gorgeous citrus, not quite as tart as a lemon because it's tangerine, but it was a beautiful citrus with a heavy hit of lemongrass. It was those two things. It was simple, but it performed well. Um, this is a very simple candle that does not perform well. I don't think it's particularly balanced either. That tangerine lemongrass is very balanced. It's like, equal parts lemongrass and citrus, and it's just fantastic. So I'm gonna link that down below because that's definitely one that I would recommend. And another one that actually seems fairly similar, I was at Bath & Body Works the other day, and you know how they have those like one wick signature candles? Um, and they've got this line of kind of like um, single, single note, like pure um, uh, candles with like cypress, and um, vanilla and various other just one element candles. And they're, they have gray wax. And I noticed that one of them was called lemongrass. And I picked it up and smelled it and it was a good citrus herbal. Um, it had a lot of lemongrass in it. And frankly, it had a few other herbs too, rounding out the experience. So, it, but it, it was, it had, it, even though it says lemongrass, it was a very like, it was, a lemon candle. It was very lemon forward. And that's why I would recommend it in the same breath as this candle, because I do think it's really kind of a lemon slash lemongrass candle. I haven't burned it, but I thought frankly that it was more impressive on cold sniff than this one. So that's what I've got for you. I'm really sorry. I, I know there's a lot of you out there that really like this, but I can't get behind it. I just can't. And definitely not for that performance. I don't love Sicilian, um, 
tangerine or whatever that orange one is either although i know a lot of other people love that one too i actually think that of the citrus candles i have smelled um away in a manger accepted because that's like a pomander but this the 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 straight up citrus candles that i smelled from that are in this like genre from bath and body from kringle i liked iced citrus the best which is actually being discontinued um i loved iced citrus i think it's gorgeous i liked it better than sicilian and this one definitely better i think it's a more like complex and just really lovely fragrance but the strength and throw on that and i only experienced it like in a daylight i could not even get a regular candle of it because or maybe i did maybe i did get a i think maybe i did get a regular i got like one of those soy blend ones the three wick soy blend nothing i mean i think it was even worse than this one in terms of strength and throw so it's just really unfortunate and once again we are in this oh kringle is just kind of it's it's just really distressing because they just have a lot of things going for them but i i really think that the performance issues are significant or they have been um up the last couple years in terms of strength and throw and some of the fragrances are not popping the way that they should either um i wonder how much of this fragrance's problems have to do with soy rather than paraffin but you know that I prefer paraffin as a vehicle for fragrance. Um, so I don't know. But maybe it's just the fragrance that's not great. Um, but it, soy could be a con contributor. At any rate, this is available in the Kringle line. It's available in the large, in the medium, in the wax melts, in the daylight. And I will definitely link all that information down below. But I'm also going to link that Bath and Body Works lemongrass candle and definitely the root tangerine lemongrass, which I can, in fact, highly recommend. Let's switch over to that next candle. So I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>